This coming Saturday would have been the 200th birthday of one of America's most famous suffragettes, Susan B. Anthony. Here to talk about her legacy is Sister Marianne LaPiccolo, the Episcopal Delegate for Religious in the Brooklyn Diocese. Welcome, Sister. Thank and you. now, many people know <laughs> Susan B. Anthony because of the coin, because of her fight for the rights for women to vote, but there's a lot of controversy about her stance on abortion and uh, the right to life. Can you explain a little bit about that? Um, Controversy is the word mm -hmm. <clears throat> because there's nothing definitive in her writings or in her actions that said she took a stance one way or another. Right. But um, all I can say in, in her behalf is that she lived faithfully by the, the, the tenets of a Quaker, a Quaker tenet that said that everyone is created equal in God's eyes. Like that was her driving force in anything she applied her life. Well, along those lines, <coughs> this is Black History Month, as you know, sure and Susan is. B. Anthony was a major <coughs> proponent mm -hmm. in the movement to abolish slavery. Can you talk a little right. bit about that? Yeah, um, it was interesting to learn of her family, mm. if I can start there. Her mother was a teacher and her father was a politician. In dealings with her father and the guests that he would have at the home, like um, William Lloyd Garrison and Frederick Douglass, mm. two advocates sure. for abolition of slavery. So she was exposed to all of this. Well, then the fire was set in her that she was going to work with them uh, for the abolition of slavery. So um, her contribution to the right to vote for the African um, peoples mm -hmm. W was well noted when the the 14th and 15th amendments were passed that gave African men the right to vote she was raging she was furious because what happened to the women right mm -hmm. why just the men again that that umbrella that everyone is created equal in God's eyes which is something we believe right. you know we believe I mean Jesus said that in so many ways. There's no differentiation, nothing. And when we're called to serve and to be Christian in our behavior and in our ministries, it's to everyone. We will celebrate her this week in Sister Mary Ann LaPiccolo, Episcopal Delegate for Religious in the Brooklyn Diocese. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.